Now I'm Gabby Bonbon. Today is Tuesday, September 28th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Tomorrow, support the Wolfpack Performing Arts and stop by Rubio's. Eat good food while fundraising for a great cause. School picture retakes will be today from 8.15 to 1.30 p.m. in HD9. Announcements will be made by your last name alphabetically. This will be the last time Life Touch is at CO for school photos. Now let's pass it on to Dylan and Josiah for sports. <laughs> What's happening, Wolfpack? I'm Josiah Edwards. And I'm Dylan Brazier. Let's get into your sports update. On Friday, our football team had a heartbreaking loss to Sheldon High School, losing 14 to 10. Our defense played really well, but unfortunately could not come away with a victory. In NFL news, we closed week three yesterday with the Eagles at the Cowboys. The Cowboys won 41-21, and as an Eagles fan, this is going to be a long season. But as a Raiders fan, I'm super excited to see my team do well. Don't worry, because you'll take a loss next week on the Chargers. Isn't that why your team lost? by 20 points. Anyway, um, in the news, the Broncos are 3-0, but they will definitely lose to the Ravens next, this Sunday. Matthew Stafford and the Rams look like a Super Bowl contending team, while his old team, the Lions, look absolutely atrocious. But the Rams take on their division rival, the Cardinals, this Sunday. This game will leave one team undefeated and one team with their first loss of the season. In school news, our, our women's volleyball team is ranked 21st in the state after their great win over St. Francis. Now let's look at their dominant performance last Tuesday. Looking fire, ladies. Tomorrow they take on Sheldon High School. Thanks for tuning in to your sports update. Back to the anchors. Thanks, guys. The math department is offering tutoring every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday after school from 3.20 to 4.20 p.m. It will be hosted in two teacher classrooms and led by one of our math teachers in each room. One room will be for Math 1 and Math 2 students and another room for Math 3 and Pre-Calculus students. Staff meeting Mondays would not be available for tutoring. We will also offer a separate tutoring for AP Stats on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3.20 to 4 p.m. and AP Calculus on Wednesdays from 3.20 to 4.20 p.m. Now let's check out our weekly show, Cooking with the Pack. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to Cooking with the Pack. Today, we are gonna utilize some leftovers and we're gonna take um, advantage of one of those TikTok food hacks that everybody has seen. So we're gonna do a tortilla foldable. What I have over here is some leftover chicken, some green hatched chilies that I've roasted, just some plain black beans seasoned with salt and pepper, and then of course some bell peppers and onions that we have sauteed up in a pan. This is a great use of leftovers. I personally hate eating leftovers, but if I can repurpose something, that's even better. So we've got our tortilla, we've cut a hole in the middle, and now we're gonna build. Now one of the important parts about this is that we're gonna be folding it onto itself. So this is gonna fold, and then we're gonna fold again, and one more time. So we have to think of this like it's quadrants. If I put a lot of sauce here, that is not gonna be good, it's gonna ooze all out. So we're gonna leave this just for cheese. Everybody thinks more cheese is better, that is not always the case. And actually we're gonna put cheese on all of the sides. Now this quadrant, we're gonna put some black beans and some chicken. And of course it's fully cooked chicken, right? Like we're gonna put not put raw chicken in a tortilla. Here, we're gonna put some green chilies and some of our delicious bell peppers and onions. And then we're gonna fold up once and then we're gonna kind of smush it, fold again, and then one more time and we have this beautiful quesadilla tortilla foldable. So it's been two or three minutes. You can see we've got a beautiful golden brown on top. We flipped it a couple times, making sure that we don't lose any. We lost some, but that's just black beans. Don't worry about it. We're gonna take it out of the pan, onto our cutting board. 
Now you can just eat it like this, but it's a lot prettier if you cut it. So we're gonna cut it right down the middle. And then on our plates, look at those beautiful fillings. And there we go. All right, thanks for joining us and thanks for cooking with the pack. That looks amazing. Reminder, CSF applications are <laughs> due to Ms. Heron in <laughs> HA5 by this Friday, October 1st. If you have any questions regarding the application process or if you are a junior or senior interested in joining CSF, please stop by Ms. Heron's <laughs> HA5 before next Friday, October 1st. That's all we have for you today. We'll be back. I'm Gabby Bonbon. And I'm Paula Sabula. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. <laughs> 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 Tuesday, wolf. <we'll be> <laughs>